what is possible at the far ends of the human mind. It's a question that patrons, and kings, and professors have for centuries attempted to answer with history's greatest composers and painters, philosophers, and mathematicians. How many are even capable of reaching those far ends? And how can we come to understand them better? Pierre Jacquardreau was a genius, a brilliant mechanical mind. While certainly a watchmaker, he was first an engineer, an artist. His design and hand assembly of the world's most complicated automatons astonished royalty from Europe to the Far East. Louis XVI, Marie Antoinette, Ferdinand VI, and Kwailong Emperor, just to name a few. He was a star of the Age of Enlightenment, a period of chaotic clarity, a period of awakening to the human genius. His automatons, the writer and the draftsman, wrote with a goose feather and sketched gracefully. His singing birds managed to mimic natural movements and sounds. His pocket watches were finished most decadently, and today his namesake manufacturer stands on the shoulders of this intellectual giant. It gives life to his legacy. Their grand second carries the original design language of his pocket watches. The tropical bird repeater would be impossible were it not for his charming bird boxes of the 18th century. Hundreds of little hand-finished parts working in unison to animate a peacock, a hummingbird, toucan, dragonflies, tropical leaves, and a waterfall in addition to a chime. Insane, sure, but astonishing and, and playful. Pioneer enamel a technique kept alive by classical artisans, of which there are so few. Hand-cut gold payon, carefully placed in a flawless pattern sealed by enamel when fired. Decadent, yes, but more than that, transportive. The word extraordinary is used a little bit liberally today for my taste. But here, it hardly does justice. This is not a big company. It's a whimsical one. It's for the imaginative. For those of us who relish in the inconceivable. For those of us who admire the human genius.